What's up, guys? It's Debixy here with the final product that I'm opening of Strixhaven. Uh, probably the last unboxing of Strixhaven that I'm going to do, too. So, at least that's what I'm planning on. But, you know, I tend to not hold my promises and open stuff anyway. Oh, drop some stuff. Came with a little paper. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. This one has the, the center part. Unlike when we were trying to put together the pre-release thing. Anyway, let's just get right into this. Uh, I'm not going to toss this because I like it. Oh, you hole. Okay, let me just toss everything, actually. JK. Put that down. Let's put this up here. Um, oh, and I actually like this die. It's the only die with the Strixhaven set symbol, I think. Because all the other pre-release ones for this set have uh, the one for the schools. Anyway. Let's let's hope for something lucky and let's go for a natty twenty. Eighteen. We are so close, so close. All right. We got the planes. We got this stuff. We'll go through that in a bit. First, let's open some packs. Some useless stuff. I wish they at least had like arena codes or something like that in here. I wish they had arena codes for like every magic product, like. For set boosters, for stuff or like collector boosters, all that stuff, you just got arena codes, right? So that way, you didn't have to buy it in arena <laughs> on top of buying it in person, you know? That'd be so much more convenient. But you know, wizards, they're money hungry. So they gotta find a way to squeeze money out of us in every which way they can. Necroplasma Snarl, Agonizing Remorse, Foil Mage Hunter, it's a pretty good card. Test of Talents. Tempted or of Tempted by the Auric. That's a pretty good one. A revitalize. And nothing in the back again. Okay, well. Alright. Currently, Strixhaven's finally released as of the time of, the co of recording. And prices have tanked. You know, it's to be expected, but another Necroplasm Snarl, that's odd, double tap on that. Ooh, Day of du Judgment, that's a pretty awful Mythic to get, but Mythic nonetheless, I suppose. Yeah, prices have pretty much tanked, right? Like, uh, I don't know, there's a few things still holding above $10, but for the most part, all the prices have tanked, so it is what it is. They'll probably go back up. Ingenious Mastery. A cultivate pop quiz and fractal token. Okay, not one to work. Got it. I wish I was someone that could uh, sell before release. Oop, eliminate. Or do pre-releases on TCG, but sadly I do not have a storefront, so that's not something I'm able to do. Wish wish I could, because, man, if you're able to sell during pre-release and stuff, the amount of money that you can make is insane, actually. Secret Rendezvous. Ooh, Wandering Archaic. That's a good one. That's actually a really good one. Another Revitalize. Okay. Got a double tap right there again. You can get a lot of duplication in this pack. Hopefully if we get another Mythic, it's not going to be a Day of Judgment again. Alright. Ingenious Inspiration. Deadly Brew. I'm loving this card. I think it's so good. Ooh. Ooh. There's a Mythic. Velomachus Lorehold. Nice. I think he's like the least valuable one. So, eh. Whatever. But, it's pretty cool that we got an Elder Dragon. So, happy about that. Zephyr Boots, Emergent Sequence, Lore Hold, and Sparing Regiment. Sparring Regiment. I can't read. A Shock, and a Rowan Scholar of the Sparks. That's pretty good. Okay. 
Why am I struggling so hard with opening these, opening these packs? Mascot Interception, Fracture, Plum the Forbidden, and Semester's End. Divine Gambit. Maelstrom Muse, that's pretty nice. Nothing else. Alright, last pack. Last pack of Strixhaven. Can we hit anything good? Let's hope. Come on, one more Mythic. One more Mythic to close it off. Let's slow roll it. Go through all the continents. See so if we get that fiery, or Dragon's Approach, that's what it is. And we didn't, but it's fine. Quandrix Apprentice, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Double Major. <clears throat> I mean, I guess that's good, but yeah, not really, not great. Leyline of Invocation, also trash. But anyway, <laughs> ooh, I mean, I guess we still got these to go through. I know there's not going to be a Mythic in here, but I'll probably show you guys. All right. I don't remember, I know there's a bunch of lands in this. Yeah, these are all just the normal lands, no foils. Well, these, on the other hand, should have all the foil lands. Ooh, Archmage Emeritus, he's the best. Oh, he's so good. And it's an alternate art version, so that's pretty great. Plains, islands. Also, I think this is the only place... You can get foil lands from this set. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, I think this is... The, or not, not foil lands in general, but foil basic lands like this. I think this is the only spot you're actually able to get them. Because I don't think you're able to get them in booster box packs. You're not able to get them in set packs. And you're also not able to get them in collector packs. So, anyway. Just a quick one today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.